Now, before we go, something you don't see every day. A solar eclipse has been visible across a stretch of the Earth from the West Atlantic to the Horn of Africa. But it's no ordinary eclipse, as Jeff White reports. It's been a source of wonder for thousands of years. Even as scientific understanding has grown, the sight of the daytime sun vanishing still captivates. But even for seasoned astronomers, today's event was special, a so-called hybrid eclipse. Some places on Earth will we see these as a total solar eclipse. So the moon will apparently block completely out the sun. Uh, but for most of the regions, uh, they will see these as a partial solar eclipse. It's all to do with the moon's distance from Earth. In a standard total eclipse, the moon is so close to the sun that its shadow completely covers our planet. In a hybrid eclipse, the moon is just close enough that only the tip of its shadow reaches the Earth so that for some it's a total eclipse and for others the sun's still partially visible. Sadly, Britain was too far north of the shadow's 8,000 mile path to see the effects. But countries like Kenya had a prime view and even held eclipse parties. Experts recommend only looking at the sun through welders' goggles. Some clearly thought that was overdoing it. You can't blame them for wanting a look though. It'll be 18 years before the next hybrid eclipse comes along. That's it. We're back tomorrow at 7. Until then, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening. <laughs>